SpongeBob! Oh, Spider-Man plug and play! Look at it! Oh, wow! Ugh. Yeah, I I'm sure this thing's gonna work really good. Ugh. Let's just plug it in real quick. Ugh. There's the wire. Oh, yeah, I, I can't wait to see this one. Oh, I'm so tired of these dumb SpongeBob plug and plays. We gotta, we gotta try this new one. Wait, SpongeBob, look, I'm spinning the Wheel of Fortune. You don't even need electricity to play this plug and play. Oh, it's already better than the Spider-Man one. I don't even plug it in. Let's see what I get. Oh, oh, I'm a millionaire, SpongeBob. Wait, we can't just start playing these new plug and plays. It's foreign territory. It's been like four years since we uploaded our last one. We gotta catch everyone up first. Ugh. You can wait, Spider-Man. Part five's coming soon, though. Hey, SpongeBob. 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 Patrick, I'm over here. Wait, who is this? SpongeBob? <laughs> Plug and play. SpongeBob, SpongeBob! <laughs> Squidward. All new SpongeBob plug and plays. It's its own console. We got all these to cover, so let's start with this one. The OG. Just like the name implies, all you gotta do is plug it in. Stop right there. First, you're gonna need hundreds of batteries. Oh, yeah. So remember first to buy your SpongeBob batteries. Hey, who put these in my eBay shopping cart? And now we can fire it on. Wait, press fire to continue? All right, check it out. Wow, Patrick, look at all these games. Look at all these games, look at all these games, look at all these games, look at all these games. Oh no, oh, we, we broke the game. Oh, SpongeBob, what did they do to you? The whole screen is just a mess of pixels. Oh, I think it corrupted, this is bad. Give it here, I can fix it. It's fixed. Huge, monstrous bubbles are surrounding Bikini Bottom and blocking all the exits to the city. SpongeBob has taken it upon himself to burst every last one of these nasty bubbles and free Bikini Bottom once more. So that's the evil bubbles. Yeah, you think you were being a little over dramatic with the intro text there? I don't know, SpongeBob, this is some high level gameplay. Oh no, get the bone! No, no, I died! Hey, guess what? Got your nose. When you pop all the bubbles and pop the barrels? SpongeBob just magically flies away. I'm flying! I'm flying! He's flying! A giant bullworm and its nasty henchmen are terrorizing Bikini Bottom. Against SpongeBob's wishes, Sandy has decided to repel their attack on her own. Can she save? All right, all you do is throw acorns. Throw them at the seahorse, throw them at the urchins. Also, Squidward's house is looking a little thick. It's not fair. I wish I could play. What are you two doing in here? <gasps> Squidward! Ah! Well, SpongeBob, this sure is a lot of fun. Wait, Patrick, I don't remember a Squidward plug and play. Where did you get that? Oh, what, what, that? Psh, don't worry about that, SpongeBob. What if you've been living under a rock? Everyone knows about the Squidward plug and play. Okay, but first we got another game. The Invasion of the Hooks. The Hooks! The Hooks! They take on town with their pleasing shapes and beguiling colors. And just when you think you found the land of milk and honey, they grab you and haul you up high. Bikini Bottom has an influx of dangerous hooks, and it's up to you to keep that at bay. So here you are, running around, saving everyone from hooks by throwing crabby patties. Why don't they just move out of the way? Why do they insist on standing there? Imagine bringing your fishing rod, going thousands of miles into the sea in your boat, you're surrounded by water, and then catching a squirrel. Well, there goes Patrick. Well, I guess after Patrick got captured from the hook, it took him to this maze, because the next game is Patrick and the Kelp Maze. Oh god, it corrupted! It's just... Vomit! 
Disgusting. Somehow I can still see where I'm going. Then the noises start. Oh man. It sounds like SpongeBob is trapped inside the plug and play, screaming to get out. Maybe they weren't over exaggerating. Maybe those bubbles really are evil. I mean, look at them. Yeah, get the stack of pancakes sitting in the forest and then run up the waterfall. Other than that, I don't know what else to do. <sighs> Last game. Wow. It takes forever to get up the ladders. And the game has no music. I'll just add my own. <sighs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, SpongeBob, it's time for me to plug in my Squidward plug and play and find out what it does. Wait one second. Gotta play mine first. It's got me on it. It's I created it. Go on, play it. Play it. Play it! SpongeBob, Jimmy Neutron, and Green Power. Though there is a Jimmy Neutron game, but we gotta play the first one first. Oh no, gotta get the stars for good luck. It's not like Timmy could just make a wish to have them all already. So I just collect my own decapitated head that's laying in the grass, and it gives me an extra life. Oh boy, an extra life! My powers have doubled since the last time we met. <laughs> Looks like it's my game. At least this plug and play has music, so it's already one step ahead of the last one. SpongeBob's out delivering Krabby Patties. That's right, they picked their best fry cook to deliver. Who's making the Krabby Patties if SpongeBob is out delivering? Oh, because we have robot SpongeBob. He's making the Krabby Patties now. Everyone's being replaced by machines. I'm a machine. Greetings, hello. Robots. What kind of place is this? Your local Valley Stream New York Walmart. Hello, Walmart. Is my outfit? Hello, Walmart. My game isn't working. I spend my whole allowance on this, the SpongeBob plug and play that I bought from you guys. Right, repeat that, please. Oh, I said my SpongeBob plug and play is haunted. It's it's making like weird colors. I think it's corrupted. It's not working. You saw me. Plug and play. Yeah. You said plug and play. What was the last part? I only heard the plug and play. Oh, part. oh, the last part. <clears throat> All I did was spill a Capri Sun on it, and it's been flashing for days, and I haven't been able to play it. So I think since I bought it from you guys, I should be able to get a return or a new one, maybe. <laughs> Back at it again. Throwing patties, falling into holes. Look at him. He's about to ascend past the stratosphere where the balloon will pop and he'll come crashing down to Earth, dying. As long as he gets his Krabby Patty going, he's good. And since we're on the topic of balloons, Walmart didn't refund me on my plug and play, but they sent me the inflatable Squidward with a warning. How nice of them. Caution, this is not a life-saving device. Hey Squidward, hey Squidward, hey Squidward, hey Squidward, hey Squidward. Hey, Squidward. Ah. Lucky me, it's a watermelon. I will be so upset if you kill me. Uh oh, we killed him. Ah. The watermelon was full of air. Ah. Try out Lay's new watermelon, full of air, just like the bag of chips. Guys, that's not even me. Remember, you turned me into a plug-and-play? By the way, isn't this a plug-and-play video? Shouldn't we be showing the gameplay? Trying to read? There's a library across the block, you nerd! I'm out here in the baking sun, delivering people Krabby Patties because they're too lazy to go to the Krusty Krab, and all they can do is throw their money on the road where I can get hit. I gotta pick it up off the road? How lazy are they? It looks so simple, doesn't it? 
on switch, menu, two buttons, a joystick? Well, that doesn't stop them from coming with pages and pages of instructions. How hard can it be? <sighs> where did it go? Maybe you should have read my instruction. Wow! What? Even the inflatable Squidward came with instructions? Hey, SpongeBob, check out my plug and play. It's a rock. <laughs> a rock? Let me see that. Oh. Oh. Uh, moving forward. Why aren't I looking handsome? Give me that. I gotta play my own game. Nah, man, we gotta do this rockin' dude's game first, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy boy. His name is Otto, and Reggie, and Sam, and Twister. Nowhere in this does it tell you that the name of the show is Rocket Power, which I think is pretty important because no one remembers it. Ah, I can't stop, dude. This skateboard just keeps on rolling. And what time is it? Oh, that's easy. The time is none. It's none o'clock. Hey, Patrick, what time is it? More bedtime. I mean, let me check. Oh. Uh, uh, it's none o'clock. Good night, then. I don't know where this kid going. Oh, Jason, where, where are you going? Ooh. Oh, come back here. Wait, wait, I'm gonna slow down here. Yeah. Boom! Oh, we playing dirty now. Yeah, we are. You and me, SpongeBob. Snowball Showdown. Hey, look, this one actually has a multiplayer mode. All right, uh, you gonna start it? Yeah, wait. Oh, hey, SpongeBob, look, your favorite. Instructions. All right, let's start. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, you're gonna feel this. Okay, so why am I in this stupid ditch? You're all the way up there. I can't even see you or hit you. And wait. What's that up there? Is that Squidward? And he already won? Ha, ha, ha. Nice base, Patrick. Don't ever in your life think you'll beat me, Patrick. Hey, this is Jimmy Neutron, bro. Yeah, we're finally playing my game. Carl, get over here. Get your butt over here. Enough messing around. It's gonna be good. Carl, no Gatorade on the couch. But Jimmy, it's grape. It's grape flavor. Yeah, whatever. It's grape. Yes, a beautiful mind. Oh, I see what you did there. Flavored. Well, let's let's think about this. So this game title is referencing a film released in 2001 called A Beautiful Mind. The plug and play was released in 2005. The film, to sum it up, is about a mental disease called schizophrenia. What else was kind of about schizophrenia was a series called Out of Jimmy's Head. Yup, that's right. Two Jimmys. Jimmy Neutron and Out of Jimmy's Head. Same name. Out of Jimmy's Head is arguably about schizophrenia too, because the kid in the show gets hit by a train which messes up his brain and it causes him to see cartoons. And if you look up schizophrenia, it's a mental disorder where you see things that aren't really there. And now it's time for the sad news. I know you didn't forget. The actor for Out of Jimmy's Head, this is what he looks like today, has drowned in this video. And he's no more. I don't know what this means, but I thought I would share the news. Moment of silence. Jimmy Neutron and Goddard have journeyed to an asteroid to search for precious astruby, asteroid rubies. You're so smart. Why didn't you just go to the planet that's literally made of a diamond? I'm sure you would have got a lot more money doing that. Um, that that's 40 light years away. <gasps> An alien. Oh, that works, I guess. Oh, sick. An extra life. No. No. Yes. No. What kind of genius doesn't know how a ladder works? Shut up. I know my academic ladders, okay? I know the Jacob's ladder, the ladder of science. I just, I failed gym, okay? He's floating, so why are we using ladders? This planet has no gravity. Also, what kind of place looks like this? One way to find out. Wait, what's this? Oh! This must have been what the Earth looked like before Rome. Just like how the world used to be in black and white before color was invented. So the game is real. Ah, I know. 
all the games have been horrible. Nickelodeon knew this because the last game they named Cash Dash. They got your money. You ain't getting it back. Before I play this one, I want to find out who is the creator. Who is responsible? Jack specific? Handheld games? No, that's not good enough. There has to be a credits. There it is. I'm about to figure out the person who is responsible for this. Who my enemy is. Did I leave the TV on last night? Psh, I wonder why. I don't really remember. Man, I'm paying the power bill for this. Psh, anyone want to pay for my power bill? Or yo, Gary, what you doing keeping the power on all night, man? Playing a game? What's that say? Kill SpongeBob. Uh, what is this? You wrote that? I died. I mean, it's all just fun and games, right? You just you just joking around? Why are you looking at me like that? You don't really mean it, do you? Ah! I guess I gotta be a better owner. What is a snail even like? You want a cat tree? You meow after all. Like him? All right, you know what you need? I went ahead and got you a new snail. His name Barry. <laughs> Why did I think I could take care of a pet when I can't even keep a flower alive? Hey SpongeBob. Oh, who are these losers? Just make it fair and make it for Spongebobs. I mean, who would ever choose them over me? I bet their shows all got canceled anyway. Wait, Cabin Assault? Cabin Assault? Oh, who names their game Cabin Assault? I think I'm gonna go do a good old Cabin Assault tonight. Nothing like a good old Cabin Assault. Who owns a cabin? I don't know. Canadians? Oh, I guess it's just throwing water balloons. I wonder who came up with the name. Maybe it was from personal experience. Is throwing a water balloon a salt? I guess it's 2018, but wow. Things changed. Things changed. Oh, we're going turbo. This is definitely a salt now. I'm throwing a thousand water balloons at this dude's neck. That's some brain damage. Ah, oh, darn, it ended. At least I got some medals. <gasps> yeah, I'm on a boat. I'm so awesome. I always wanted to be a pirate, even though I love the ocean and I breathe water. Oh, uh, where do you think you're going? Shh, it's okay. I know I'm going to lose too, but I'm taking you down with me. I'm making sure we both lose. <sighs> I wish I could ride a boat. Oh, yeah, I'm making a cake. Oh, well, I'm sorry that I couldn't meet your expectations, game. Huh, I wish I could make a cake. Yeah, I bet you do wish that. It would probably be easier if you had arms and legs, though. <laughs> oh, hey, SpongeBob. What's up? Um, Patrick, what are you playing? It's better than yours. I had it since I was a kid. It's the Sleeping Beauty Plug and Play. You sure you don't no. want to play it? I mean, it's no. pretty good. No. I don't know. She kind of looks a little derpy. We could make her look a little better. Perfect. Sorry, Patrick. I'm just going to stick with mine. What? Mo move the mar- Is that a marshmallow? Is this a marshmallow? I mean, I guess it looks like it. Move over, SpongeBob. I'm getting that marshmallow. Patrick, stop! <laughs> SpongeBob? SpongeBob. <laughs> You would don't get it. <gasps> All right, guys, it's time to play Shrek. It's time to play Shrek. It's time to play Shrek. Come on, guys, it's time to play. <gasps> 
Yeah, SpongeBob kind of went crazy one day and just nailed that piece of bread to his wall. What am I not good for you, you piece of bread? We didn't understand why. Is this what it's come to? Do I really have to play this? I never thought I'd say it, but... Give me the Sleeping Beauty plug and play. Let me play something else. Oh, I wish I could play the Shrek plug and play. Shut up. No one cares what you say, Squidward. Ew. Wall bread. My favorite. Hey, 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 what are you doing? That's my bread. No, don't touch my bread. Look, big guy, I'm playing your thing. Just, just stop, please. <laughs> Seriously? Shrek Evergreen, is that your last name? Well, I, I tell people that my last name is Onion, but I, I'm green, so yeah. I, I, that's my last name. Oh yeah, turn it up. Over the hedge is on here too, with that stupid squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I only bought this because of one thing. Shrek. Everyone come look, I'm taking a Shrek. Oh, uh, I see Shreks here. Yeah, the bottle's right here. What are you trying to accuse me of? Uh. Oh, that is some quality Shrek. Okay, what is this music? There is something that I see in the way you look at me. The way he looks at you? Stop staring, Shrek! That's not a good look. That can't be good. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's definitely based off that song. At least that song was in Shrek. It was part of the soundtrack. It's kind of bizarre that they would program that song in just for a stupid little menu. Shrek! Shrek, what are you doing? Shrek! Are you having a stroke? Are we not gonna talk about the fact that this is Shrek Golf? Shrek Golf? If you think I'm not the ogre Tiger Woods, then come out to me. I want to hear it. You sure you want to give Shrek a bad rating? You sure about that? Four. Oh, I missed. Four. Again. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to it this time. What have you done? They told us to never connect the Squidward plug and play to the TV. What the? What is that place? Where are we? Where are we? Don't worry, SpongeBob. I killed it. Well, S SpongeBob, do you see that? Heck yeah, I see it. The jellyfish. Not the jellyfish. Over there. Squidward's body. It's getting away. Don't worry, we'll get him with with the invisible boatmobile. It's it's not invisible. Yeah, it is. That's just the steering wheel. So why is it invisible, but the steering wheel isn't? I don't know. Wait, is this a plug and play? Ah, oh, it is. This one uses motion controls. Wow, this is the best looking one by far. It's not all pixely, like others. There better be four SpongeBob's. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't even have my license. Why would I pick myself? I'm just gonna crash. What kind of bathtub did Squidward make that car out of? I take it back. This wasn't the best looking one. Shrek was. This thing better go fast if we want to catch Squidward's body. All right, let's go, Squidward. We got this. Let's win. Why are you going so slow? Okay. 
Okay, that's better. Get the coins. Nope. Maybe you shouldn't have built your car out of a bathtub, Squidward. We wouldn't be in sixth place. Yeah! We got a pie? Well, how do I use it? Let me throw it at her. Oh, no. No, Squidward! Oh, we both missed. No! This isn't fair! We're in a bathtub! No wonder you don't got your license. You're terrible, SpongeBob. Ah, he's just too darn fast. We'll never catch him. I never remembered Squidward being that fast. He should join track. He's... He's just standing there, menacingly. He's just sitting there. Don't worry, we'll get him. If you would stop throwing banana peels, Patrick. I can smell the finish line. Come on, come on. Second. Am I just blind? We were before him. Ah, we're gonna crash. Ah! Patrick, you're gonna hit the tree. <laughs> Don't worry, I just broke my fall in the poison ivy. Ah, oh, where are you, Squidward? Spongebob, Spongebob behind you. You was the nut. Squidward, when did- Ooh, 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 No, no, why me? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I got the net. <sighs> yeah, he clearly can't move now. Where am I? Oh, is that my pony? Wow, I am gorgeous. Never do that again. What? Wait, but here's one we haven't covered. No, no, I never want to see another one of those things again. Hey guys, I'm back from the doctor for my poison ivy. What? Alright, let's see. Nope. That one sucks. Saw everything that that one had to offer. What in the- Yo, Spongebob, plug me in, homie. How are you a plug and play, man? Well, you remember what happened last time? Ah, we're gonna crash! <laughs> Don't worry, I just broke my fall in the poison ivy. Hey guys, I'm back from the doctor for my poison ivy. Listen, I'd help plug you in and get your body back, but it's kind of funny seeing you like that. Oh yeah, I haven't even tried these two yet. The one's even my house and I haven't even played it. Let's see what it's about. No, SpongeBob, you can't use that old, boring TV. Okay, well what about this one? No. What about this one? No. This one? No. What about this one? This one kind of nice? No. Okay, then definitely this one. It's like the last one. No. This is an absolute unit, SpongeBob. If you're gonna be using SpongeBob plug and plays, you gotta be using the SpongeBob TV. It's kind of creepy that the TV screen's just my mouth. Oh, yeah, look at that menu. A bunch of me's? Heck yeah! Except that this remote takes batteries, the plug and play takes batteries, I run on batteries. Double A only, by the way, batteries not included. I eat batteries for breakfast. My cousin Frank Bob's in a coma on life support and it's being run by batteries. I'm sorry, Frank Bob. But I'm gonna need those batteries. I'm charging 20 bucks a pop for these things. Get money, get paid. This plug and play is shaped like my house, like a pineapple. I don't remember my front door being that big. And it's got a hidden Gary at the bottom. The corruption already begins. Hold up, let me bang it on the table a couple times. So this one's got like a little menu of games to choose from. The lack of music really adds to this eeriness. It's like a deserted wasteland. Alright, let's try the first one. Mr. Spongehead. Whoa. The Squidward and Spongebob fusion. So, it really is like a Mr. Potato Head. You change the eyes, change the nose, the mouth. They got props, poses. This one's my favorite. And a random button. Blessed Bob Squarepants. It's kind of creepy that the wall has a face, too. You know, they really did have a Spongebob Squarepants potato head. Ooh! Spud Bob Squarepants? How about Stud Bob Squarepants? Just stick with the game. Oh yeah, and you can actually move the parts around. Alright, Seaside Sliders.
Really, bruv? This is worse than a free Flash game. This is like when you're two years old and they got that slidey thing at the dentist's office. You're just sitting there waiting and that's all they got. Except that that awful thing is even more fun than this. All right, this one's got Gary. It's got to be good. Oh my. Okay, imagine this. The only color you got is green and you're playing on this wobbly, awful joystick. I can't even make a circle. And Gary's leaving behind a green trail of slime everywhere he goes. I'm sorry, but he smells awful. He's got to take a bath. Next one, mix and match Patrick. Ah, it's like the potato head one. As if Patrick couldn't get any more morbidly obese. Does this make you miss your body even more or what? You bodiless freak. You just a head. And what is this from? I didn't even know Patrick owned that shirt. Valentine's, you look like a bumblebee, dude. It was just a weird phase, okay? Oof. Old Patrick. I call this one the calm and composed yet wild caveman. Metal shaving makeover. Aw oh man, forgot to shave that beard. I'm glad they made a video game of this. Oh my goodness, that's Squillium. Ah, shoulda known, it's actually Squidward. This is just one of those bald as a melon magnetic toys that you give hairdo and a beard and mustache. We're just using hair in a can. Yo, this next game though, as soon as you start it and you don't know where to look yet, the order flashes by and you're supposed to remember it. All right, what we got to work with? We got Plank, we got an anchor, we have some slime sitting on the counter for some reason. We got a hot, hot dog, dog with, with extra, extra mustard. mustard. Hmm, let's see, I got the perfect Krabby Patty. What is it missing? Some ketchup? Nah, all I got is some slime. I'll just put that on there. Almost forgot. Yeah, that's the best burger I ever made. Don't you roll your eyes at me. Alright, this burger more nutritious than McDonald's. I don't see what's wrong with it. What's with the face? Oh, right, it was just missing the patty. Yeah, that's perfectly edible. Alright, they want some slime, a burger, onion. You know, I'm gonna give them something special. Something, you know. This is off the secret menu. No, I got something better. Here we go. Nothing more nutritious than chewing on rubber. Only one more game, color me spongy, and all the rest have sucked. Huh. So it's just coloring in the lines. A solid color. Am I Picasso yet? Wow, no wonder I waited so long to play this one. It's horrible. It's just a bunch of cheap Flash games. Worst one I ever played. Yo, what's up? What? You made fun of my body? Now it's war. I forgot about this one. Why'd I wait so long to play this one? Yup, it's the Fry Cook Games. Now on to the Fry Cook Games. That's the biggest Krabby Patty I've ever seen. I just noticed this TV's got a horrible speaker. Sounds like someone left it out in the rain. Psh, press A. I'm pressing B. All right, the score is zero to zero. We're doing multiplayer. Oh, can't spill the drink. If you see me running up on you like this, then I'm probably your waiter. All I want to do is wait your table. I'm trying to run so I get a bigger tip. Hey, look at that time. All right, whoa, at least I got a body in this game. I'm out here cooking burgers in the Fry Cook games and I'm just ahead. SpongeBob's got an unfair advantage. Whoa! Psh, I can do that. Look. Yeah, it's pretty hot. It's easy. Oh! Uh, it burns! Help me! These Krabby Patty's gonna be a little tangy. It's got a starfish kick in it. No, Krabby Patty. I can't stop dropping everything. Oh, hey, look. I won. That was just round one. All right, on to the next one then. Grill skating. Man, I can't believe I murdered my own kind for this. I got two sponges on my feet. It's just like Guitar Hero. Actually, more like that Club Penguin dancing game. And how long is the Krusty Krab? I swear I passed the front door like 14 times. I mean, I'm going in a straight line here, right? Maybe I'm going in a circle? 68 perfects though. What are you wearing? My mom used to ice skate, okay? I'm trying to be the dancing queen. You're ruining my vibe. I'm trying to concentrate on these moves. All right, just tell me when to show up to the wedding. I'm assuming you're the bride. You're even out here doing twirls? Hey, we 
won again. Oh, this isn't fair. I can't let SpongeBob win. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling much better. And tall. I even got a tail. Hey, Patrick, I like your style. Nah, you see my scores? You're never going to beat. What? What? Uh. All right, I'm at peak fry cook performance. Start the next one. You won't. All right, I got the moves. Watch this. Uh, what are you doing? Flipping the patty? What do you mean? No, you're trying to show off and then failing. Watch how a pro does it. Well, guess who won this time? Looks like me losing all that weight has its benefits. All right, the score is still two to one though. It's 4-4, four, four, and there's one game left. Deep sea diving. It's everyone's biggest fear. Skydiving, except in the sea. Whoa, I can see my house from here. How'd these rings get here? I don't even got a parachute, and I think I broke the timer. It's stuck at 99.99. .99. I'm getting way too close to the ground. I'm not trying to fall and break something. Ah! I'm not dying. I used my pants as a parachute. Good thing he had that helmet on. SpongeBob, he's gone. That means I'm the winner. Woo. Can someone help me up? I'm stuck here. I can't move. Mr. Krabs, I never see you eating Krabby Patties. You're always eating other stuff. If you invented Krabby Patties, then why are you never eating them, dog? Those are for the customers. I can't be in my own stock, me boy. It's not uh, for any other reason, like uh, Krabby Patties being made of crab meat. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Besides, me boy, you're running off 15 biosteels. We didn't have no fancy smanchy drinks like that back in the old days. Uh, all we had was this V8. It was new at the time. Brings back memories of the old days, me boy. Back when Oreos came in a case like this. Ooh, a coupon from 1960! Uh, hope it still works. Arr, arr, arr. Can't have a magazine from the 1960s without advertising secrets, me boy. Straight up advertising poison to us. Those were the days. Only 50 cents, me boy. Inflation now just runs amok. Now you know I'm so crazy on money, me boy. Back in my day, we could buy a full-on meal for like one buck. I wasn't so crazy about the money then, but now, go to Arby's. One burger costing 11 bucks. I'm not paying that. Hey, Mr. Krabs, look. You could win a free blender. Although, it's an old one. Oh, how did I miss that? Is that another stinking cigarette ad in this magazine? Miss Krabs, your times were crazy. Nothing more romantic than blowing smoke rings in each other's face, causing each other cancer. Wow, me boy, look at that. Three cigarette ads on one single magazine. 
Somehow I don't think your time's for that good, Mr. Krabs. Ugh, you missed one. Another one's on the back. There's a fourth. Oh, don't worry, me boy. You could, you could get a pool for only a thousand bucks back then. Oh, look, me boy. It's the 1960s Fright Cook Games ad. I forgot about this. Now this brings back memories. Wait a minute, I completely forgot! This year's annular Fry Cook Games is starting! We haven't prepared! Oh, back when the Krusty Krab joined the Fry Cook Games, me boy, Plankton was actually a threat! He had an 80's mullet! He was winning every Fry Cook Games! With his Ubi Goobies! Ubi Goobies? That's what- I don't know, that, that's just what he called him. Top 10 Gooby Woobies. Number 10 we got Goopoo Loopoo. He's hella funny. Then we got Stoopoo Doopoo. What a goat. Then we got Goopy. He's a menace. Don't let his appearance fool you. Then we got TJ Crane. What a beast. Then we got Mr. Denmark. Love him. You don't know me, boy? Plankton's a Pikmin. He is? Yeah, yeah. Y you ever play the games? Mr. Krabs, I'm here to steer the formula. What? Wait. Deep, they're deep in thought. They're planning. Wait, uh, what are they talking about? You got these tiny little Planktons in that game. Running around. Completing tasks? You're running around with a whole army of planktons, me boy! Swarming a hundred planktons! I uh, never knew, Miss Krabs. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. But anyways, after we got rid of those guys, it just hasn't been the same. Oh, my Ubi Goobies, they really had to bring that up? Miss them. So, me boy, we got this year's Fry Cook Games in the bag! We can win this so easily! We can come out with a victory royale, as you kids say. Oh, uh, Fortnite kind of died off. We don't really say things are real anymore. Well, uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, what do you say? Bust a cabin in? All right, let's <laughs> bust a cabin. This is a chance for for a quick buck. Oh, uh, how about this? I'll bet all me money that you can win this year's Fry Cook Games. I can double all of me monies because Plankton doesn't really have his Zuby Goobies anymore. He's not going to win. He has no chance of winning. What Fry Cook does he have for the Fry Cook Games? Okay, well, let's do it then. You double your money, and I get to have fun in the Fry Cook Games, although it's gonna be weird just me competing by myself. But, hey, I'm always down to flex my skills, though. Mr. Krabs is gonna bet all his money, so if he loses this Fry Cook Games, that means the Krusty Krab will shut down forever. With the lack of money, he'll have to sell all his assets, and I could buy it using the prize money. He thinks I'm not even a competitor? He thinks I can't even compete? Huh. I'll show him. I gotta get a fry cook. I don't even care if it's some drunk off the streets. I'll hire anyone. I need a fry cook. How hard can it be? <sighs> Wait, what's that? <sighs> I shouldn't have drank that beer. Uh, when I sort of drunk off the streets, I wasn't being literal, but... Hey, it's your lucky <laughs> day! <laughs> Who said that? Since you're homeless, I assume you're unemployed. Yeah. And, uh, are you good at cooking? I can cook, yeah. I can make some mean raviolis. Oh, perfect, then. <laughs> now on to the Fry Cook Games. All right, SpongeBob, the fate of the Krusty Krab relies on you. It's no big deal or anything. <sighs> I just gotta... Wait, what the heck is that? Is that Patrick? What's he doing here? Hey, yo, Patrick, what the heck are you doing here, man? It's the Fry Cook Games. You gotta be a Fry Cook to play. Well, 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 if it isn't last year's Fry Cook Games loser, aren't you supposed to be in a coma or something? <laughs> Ew. Good thing he had that helmet on. But yeah, now I am a fry cook. Plankton hired me five minutes ago. See? Wait, what? Why? Well, SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs bet all his money on you, right? So if you lose, the Krusty Krab gets shut down forever. That's why Plankton's paying me a lot of money to beat you. Yeah, but Patrick, if the Krusty Krab shuts down, you'll never be able to eat a Krabby Patty again. How are you going to live with yourself? SpongeBob, I found out about this place called McDonald's. They released a Big Mac sauce, and I haven't even thought about a Krabby Patty in two weeks straight. Look at that out of my face. The game's about to start. <clears throat> I gotta get ready. Ugh. It's really like that, bro. I lent you a cement so in third grade and you're really gonna do me like this? <sighs> Fine. All right, everybody. I'm your host with the most, Squidward, and welcome to the 23rd annual Fry Cook Games. Hey, wait. I thought Squillium was supposed to be the host of the Fry Cook Games. 
Huh? Nah. Squirrel even couldn't make it. He choked Turkey on a toffee sandwich. sandwich. So, uh, yeah. I'm the new host. All right. Without further ado, let's take a look at these idiots who are competing. In this corner, weighing 10 pounds, is it? Eh, you know what? It's not even worth an intro. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Sponge87. I'm here for another year at the Fry Kid Games. Can't wait to get home so I can be like... Look, Gary, there I am. There I am on TV. It's a live recording, boy. You're not going to be able to do that. I put on these dumb sunglasses for nothing. Yeah, it's me, Patrick Tortellini. Hey, wait, what is that picture? I didn't tell you to put that. Plankton, what are you doing to me, man? I don't know. Blame Karen. She insult Bing for some reason, and all the photos that pop up are cursed on this search engine. And what's up with this dumb Area 52 music? I didn't want this. I wanted... SpongeBob and Patrick are playing. I'm getting paid 25000 for this gig and it's still not enough because I gotta deal with these two idiots still. Squidward, you know if you let Patrick win, the Krusty Krab's gonna get shut down, right? You're gonna be without a job. What are you gonna do? Huh? I hate the Krusty Krab anyway. I don't care if it's shut down. Now, let the games begin. All right, everyone. First up is the Patty Toss. Whoever throws a Krabby Patty the farthest wins. All right, this is about to be so easy. I got this. SpongeBob, wait. Yo, what's up, Mr. Krabs? We can't just waste a perfectly good <laughs> Krabby Patty. We gotta sell it. This is a world famous Krabby Patty. It's gonna be used in the Fry Cook games. That's why I'm charging everybody five bucks a pop to take one bite of the world famous Krabby Patty. Mr. Krabs, people can't eat this Krabby Patty. I gotta throw it to win. Don't worry, I'll save a little bit left for you to throw, okay? Ew, I'll take a bite of that Krabby Patty. Okay, five bucks. Mr. Krabs, that's Patrick disguised as a cow. I don't care, money's money. Uh, anyone else want to take a bite of this Krabby Patty? Whoa. Alright, SpongeBob, here's what the customers gave me back. They wouldn't eat it. Bruh. One dumb pickle? I gotta throw one dumb pickle? <sighs> Alright, here goes nothing, I guess. For the Krusty Krab, Toby! Ew, that's just embarrassing, dog. All right, get out of my way. I got this. Ooh. Well, not like it's saying much, but Patrick beat that stupid pickle. Okay, on to the next game. <laughs> hey, Plankton, what are we doing with this burger? Wh what do you mean? It's disgusting. Well, can I eat it? I guess. Yes! Oh, it's so good. Wait, the next event is starting? Oh, okay. All right, the next event is Krabby Patty Boxing. Wait, why is it called Krabby Patty Boxing? It has nothing to do with Krabby Patties. It's just boxing. Sponsor things. We don't say let's go watch Reese's Puffs basketball just because Reese's is handing them a check. Huh, just think about the 20,000 Squidward. Now let's get on to the Krabby Patty Boxing. Oh yeah, I've been wanting to do this since the third grade when you gave me the root beer smensel. That was the worst flavor and you know it. You had bubble gum and you gave me root beer? It's over for you, SpongeBob. Dang, how am I supposed to be Patrick in boxing? Here, SpongeBob, me boy, take these. What the? Dang, Mr. Krabs, what are these? Those are from me boxing days. We called them the Stingers. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can definitely own someone with these. Hey, Patrick, come here. Wait, SpongeBob, we can talk about this. I actually like the smell of root beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Patrick. Uh, are you really going to allow that? You're going to allow SpongeBob to have tax on his gloves? Oh, uh, I, I wasn't really paying attention, but uh, I guess SpongeBob wins. Next challenge, then. Oh, so that's how SpongeBob wants to start playing it, then. Then I'm gonna have to go all out. All right, the next contest is a fashion show. Whoever can impress me wins. <laughs> a fashion show? This is about to be easy. I just gotta go grab my sunglasses. Oh, those? I, I sold them, me boy. What? You sold them? You cheapskate. I gotta go Spirit of Halloween real quick. <laughs> I can't believe all Spirit of Halloween had was a dumb Minions costume. Oh well. Hey Squidward, what do you think of my costume? Ah, uh, it's an Ubi Wubi. Die! Wait, Squidward! Uh, 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 oh, 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 Hi, Rain. SpongeBob, is that you? Yeah, Squidward, it's just me. Dang! Oh, in that case, uh, 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 take that one off. Get out! Ah, where's Patrick with his costume? Whoa! SpongeBob, even if your costume was good, there'd be no way you could beat the drip. I mean, look at this man. Patrick obviously wins. On to the next event. For the next challenge, whoever can make the most unique Krabby Patty wins. Eh, I make all the new menu items. This is about to be the easiest thing in the world. Wait, a unique Krabby Patty? I got just the thing for this. 
Oh yeah, I've been saving this Krabby Patty for 20 years. If it doesn't win in the contest, I don't know what will. <laughs> yeah, that Krabby Patty's fresh right there. La, la, la. Okay, SpongeBob, what's your burger? I call this the Spider-Man Patty. You eat this patty, you'll wake up with 20-20 vision and a six-pack the next day. All right, all right, pretty impressive. Now let's look at Patrick's burger. Ow, what the heck is that? Oh, I see you noticed my creation. It's called the preserved patty. Ugh, get that away from my patty. I don't want mold to be associated with my hard work. We already had the moldy whopper incident in 2019. Also, are you sure that's not called the nasty patty 2.0? You're calling my burger disgusting just because it's green? You got a red burger over there, SpongeBob. You're one to talk. All I'm saying, your burger's red, my burger's green. More you and Luigi, and everyone knows Luigi's better. Oh, that's straight up disgusting. Oh! Ew! Ew! Wait, this gives me an idea. That's it. New contest. Whoever can eat that burger first wins. Wait, that was an actual contest. You didn't know we had that burger until five minutes ago. Yeah, you're right. I just made it up. But I think it'd be hilarious to see you two idiots in the hospital. <laughs> there you go. I cut it in half for you. Whoever can eat theirs first wins. Who? Oh, this is about to be easy. I've been binge watching Matt Stoney. Dang, this thing's looking like a straight up cake. Well, better get started on this patty. Uh, you do realize it's a race, right? I've been preserving this crabby patty for 20 years. I gotta savor it. All right, then. Ugh, I'm not about to eat this. Luckily, though, I got another trick up my sleeve. That's right, the pinnacle of humor. What was I thinking? Why didn't I bring this to the fashion contest? Just gotta wind it up. All right, time to eat whatever the heck this thing is. Oh, so good. I'm definitely eating it, guys. I'm eating it for real. It's so good. Oh. Welp, my teeth may be moldy, but I still won. Hey, Squidward, I finished! Uh, you know when the host catches someone cheating, they gotta file a bunch of paperwork? So, uh, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Yeah, on to the next challenge. Darn it, and I was so close, too. Ah, for the next contest, you gotta cook something. But, uh, I know you two idiots aren't gonna make anything edible, so... This homeless guy I found is gonna be the judge. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, is that Muscle Man's cousin? Yeah, I'm glad you recognize me, bro. Muscle Man doesn't really talk about me much. He says my show's a little too bad for him. Okay, me to Krabby Patty. Nothing fancy this time, just gets the job done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is Mr. Krabs out here getting all the advertisement for his Krabby Patties in his Fry Cook games? What am I gonna cook for this contest? Patrick, I need to go out here and advertise this chum for me. Why is it radiating? That means it's fresher. Well, I don't have anything else to serve. Thanks, Plankton. I'm ready for the review. What the heck is that? How many people did you kill to make that thing, Patrick? I don't know. Plankton made it. Huh? You're still cheating? You didn't make it yourself? Then why didn't you just go to Cheesecake Factory? Or even like 7-Eleven got a hot dog or something for that matter? That looks disgusting. Dang, these are looking delicious. All right, I'll try the Krabby Patty first. It's good, it's good. I mean, a little basic, but uh, not bad. All right, time to try yours, Patrick. Wait, uh, what the heck is this thing anyways? I think it's called Chum. Chum, uh, never had that before, but uh, can't be too bad, right? Huh? Patrick just killed him. I'm thinking I should maybe give Patrick the point, actually, because this homeless guy's been bugging us for two weeks straight. Get asking for free food. So, uh, I guess Patrick does get the point. Get in, SpongeBob, and you said the chum wasn't gonna work? Ugh. How about you eat it? Ooh, wow, this episode's getting brutal. Let's see what the audience's reaction to that is. Okay then, never mind. So, the score is 3-3. Here comes the final event, Battle Royale. You get two minutes and every kill is a point. Whoever gets the most kills wins the fry cook games. What this has to do with fry cooking anymore? I have no idea, honestly. Now, let the Battle Royale <sighs> begin. I gotta find a weapon, I gotta find a weapon. Wait, is that a banana? What the heck am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Useless. 
Oh, a boomerang! Finally, an actual weapon! <laughs> it's like GTA! Hey, wait, isn't murder illegal? <gasps> a knife! Uh, jail, here I come! Okay, time to find an enemy! Hold up! Is that one right there? <laughs> Whoa, he disappeared? I didn't actually get him? Huh? Hey, yo, what's up, dude? <sighs> I can't do it. It's wrong to kill a child. Dude, who are you calling a child? I'm 40 years old. Oh, shoot, he's coming for me. <sighs> I wish I saw that boomerang. What do I do? Well, I'm sorry for ever doubting you, Banana Peel. <sighs> SpongeBob. Yeah, it's me in the flesh. What's up? Oh, nothing. I was just looking for more uh, victims, but it appears the score is tied, and there's one minute left. And you know what else? There's only one other person I see right now. Uh, wait, Patrick. We can talk about this. No, SpongeBob. I'm about to do what I should have done in third grade when I got the schmencil. <laughs> Hey, wait, my boomerang came back. Wait, what? Ew, that's disgusting. Wait, I, I hate extra crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> Dang, it's a good thing Patrick hates extra crunchy peanut butter. Now all I gotta do is find one more victim. Hey, dude, do you know where the bathroom is? And the time is up. Wait, does that mean I won? And the winner of the Fry Cook Games is Squidward Tentacles. <laughs> get on, SpongeBob and Patrick. I get the gold this year. <laughs> what? How the heck did Squidward win the whole thing? Later that same evening. <laughs> huh? No, no, I'm not playing the Fry Cook Games. Wait, no! Ah! Oh, get off of me, stupid monkey! Ah! Huh? Oh, I gotta get that defense. Uh, uh, take that. And that's how chums made. Hey, <laughs> that was actually kind of fun. I wonder if there's any more idiots I could hunt down. Oh yeah, this is the most fun I've had all day. Don't think you can hide behind that van, old man Jenkins. I can see you. <laughs> I got the snipes for days. That's right, I'm a camper. What, is SpongeBob and Patrick only get three eliminations? I'm already up to 50, dog. I should have joined the Fry Cook Games years ago. Mr. Squidward, what have you done, me lad? I bet all me money that SpongeBob would win. Oh, oh, I, I lost everything. Oh, what did you do? Oh, I'm gonna strangle you. Yep, that's right. You gotta sell the Krusty Krab now, old man. <laughs> And now I'm rich. I don't gotta work there a day in my life again. What have you done, me boy? This is the end of everything. <sighs> Mr. Krabs, you're so dramatic. <sighs> Look! Before I won the Fry Cook Games, I legally got my name changed to SpongeBob. That's right. SpongeBob technically won, because I changed my name to SpongeBob. <laughs> Don't be calling me SpongeBob, though, because I'm changing it back next week. Mr. Squidward, you're a genius. Y you thought of everything, me lad. So does this mean I get another raise? Uh, I, I don't know about that. <sighs> All right, now. If you'll excuse me, there's still one more thing I gotta do while my name is still legally changed to SpongeBob. I gotta rob a bank. <sighs> if I rob a bank in SpongeBob's name, the police will go showing up to him. So don't be surprised if they show up to SpongeBob's house. <laughs> See you later. Bring me back some of that money, eh? <gasps> that was a complete waste. They should just call it the Cry Cook Games with how miserable that was. Well, time to go back to being an alcoholic again. <laughs>